Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV. And in this video, we're gonna break down a staple of our Dianese leather jacket line. This is called the Racing. It's actually been around since 2010, but the reason why we're reshooting it is we actually have some great new color options for 2011. There's a black, white, red. There's also an anthracite black and another new color that are gonna be available with this jacket, making six total colors for the Racing. So if you're not familiar with the Racing, this is the first time you're seeing this. This is basically a summer or warmer weather highly technical leather jacket. It's using Dianese's um, premium cowhide construction and you have a mix of vents as well as these S1 stretch panels that add comfort as well as breathability to this jacket. So if we start from the top down, it's a double snap neck closure. Moving down, you have two big chest vents. These are actually vents that vent to mesh, that vent to the body. The lining of this guy is gonna be what they call the Dianese sanitized lining, which is a basic mesh that's gonna flow air to the body. Moving down, you notice that it's a lot of the, the beauty of this jacket really comes from the detail that Dianese does in designing it as well as the R&D and the technicality of it. So moving down, you're gonna have two big hand warmer pockets. Again, the stretch panels come all the way down the side. Move and, and turn like that for me. There you go, so let's talk armor. Co-injected aluminum, aluminum hard part shoulder armor, CE rated. Moving down, we have bioelasticated stretch panels on the back of the elbow, on the tops of the arms, make it more comfortable when you're in the race position. We also have soft inserts. It's basically a built-in temper foam panel. And always notice, again, Dianese with the details. You have the embossed Dianese logo. Moving down to the elbow, you're gonna have CE rated elbow and forearm protection, Dianese logo again, and you have a big reflective panel on the back of the elbow here. Pull your arm up for me. Underneath the arm, you have these S1 stretch panels that allow you to be different size guys to fit into this jacket. Matt's a size 50, 38 inch chest, 155 pounds. He's five foot nine. Why isn't he a 48? He's a 50 because it leaves enough room for back armor and back armor to be in while you're riding in this guy. You don't want it to be so skin tight unless you don't plan on wearing back armor with it. Last thing, you have an adjustment panel here on the side and then you also have a scoop that's a mesh vent that's going to vent to the body. So again, mid-spring, all summer, mid-fall, depending on your temperature tolerance. Can you stretch it earlier spring? Can you stretch it later in the fall? Sure, you're just going to have to beef up layers. You're going to have to wear some type of thermal base layer under it. Spin backwards for me, Matt. Notice the S1 stretch panels come all the way across the, ba across the back. Matt mildly hit the riding position for me. There's your area for stretch. Depending on how broad you are, when you're in a technical riding position in tuck, you're going to have room to move. Soft inserts, soft inserts, Dianese logo. It's got a longer back. It's gonna have a, a full length 360 zip. You also have the, uh, you can hit, you can come back up for me. You also have the reflective panel. Spin back around for me, Matt. The nice part about this guy is you have a lot of color options. It's gonna fit armor. It's gonna be very technical, no speed hump. You're talking about a 599 price point. Up from here, you're looking to get into that, you'd go to an Alien, you'd go to something like a Rebel, something like a new Nusan. To go a step down in cost, you're looking at something like the Cage. So if you have any questions, make sure you, you give us a shout because we're going to be able to walk you through the range of technicality and a range of prices for the Dianese jacket line. Okay, so here's the Dianese racing off of Matt. Remember, he was a size 50, and that left him room for back protection. So let's start with back protection. Has two pockets, two different shape pockets. One for the more egg-shaped and a higher-end wave, and the other is gonna be more rectangular for the more mid-range shield back protector. Both CE level two, but they're gonna provide two different styles and degrees of protection. Also, when we talk about the CE-rated armor that's removable in the elbows, the shoulders built in, co-injected. Elbows are going to have the Dionysia proprietary CE shoulder or elbow and forearm armor. It's soft, it has plenty of padding, but it also has the, the proper hard parts that are going to end shape that are going to disperse and absorb energy. Moving to the guts of this guy, I talked about the sanitized mesh liner. Again, this is more of a lightweight interior. It's meant to flow air. You're going to have to wear a base layer to stretch this into other seasons, but here's your basic sanitized liner. And then I did mention that it's a 360 elasticated zip panel. So this is the top half of a track legal two piece suit if you need it. This guy is over 39 bucks. It will ship for free. If you get the wrong size, send it back to us. We will ship you the exchange for free. And as always, it's over 100 bucks. You'll earn Teamzilla cash back on this guy towards your next order. It's our loyalty program that helps you save money in the long run. If you have any questions, there's a broad line of leather jackets in that $500 to $1,000 price point. They all offer different things, whether it's from Dianese or other competing brands. Call us, we'll walk you through them. If you, have, if, you, if you need to speak, it's 877-792-9455 or cs at revzilla.com via email. Again, this is the Racing Leather Jacket, which has new colorways for 2011, six total colors available at revzilla.com slash My name's Anthony. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you next time on Revzilla TV.